how many eggs are good for the IVF? Well, basically you need one healthy ripe egg and one beautifully developing embryo and everybody can be happy. But of course during that ovarian stimulation we try to get more eggs because we know that not every follicle will carry an egg and not every egg will be ripe. Not every ripe egg will be healthy and not every healthy egg will be successfully fertilized. And these are all steps before we even start the embryo cultivation. During the cultivation itself some of the embryos won't develop as uh, wished for and uh, only some will reach the stage of of the blastocyst, that perfect stage for the transfer or the cryoembryo transfer for later, meaning the uh, cryopreservation. So it's nice to have a reserve. 8 to 10 eggs per stimulation, not bad. 12 through 15, perhaps better. Then the attitude is changing. The rule used to be if it's more than 15, then the success rates drop because uh, more follicles, more eggs, more progesterone is actually being produced and that might have a negative effect on uh, the endometrium. However, today the rules are uh, different because there are many cycles where actually all embryos are cryopreserved. Uh, cryopreserved. This is thanks to the fact that the current vitrification process, the method used uh, for cryopreservation of the embryos is very gentle, the embryos can, can take it very well and the success rates with the cryopreserved embryos are pretty much even to the success rates of the fresh embryos, in some cases even a little higher. So with this uh, freeze-all approach where the embryos are frozen and saved for later, we don't really need to stress over the endometrium and we can go for a higher number of eggs, even over 15. But this is rather rare and ultimately it depends on the capacity of the ovaries, on the current cycle, on the response of the ovaries to the stimulation and on the protocol that we use. So I would say currently the optimum somewhere between 8 and 12, maybe even 8 through 15.